Hey guys, it is Saturday and I am starting a whole new week on Weight Watchers. So I wanted to let you know how <laughs> this day is going. Today has been kind of a unique day. My aunt and uncle are visiting from Oklahoma and it's super awesome to have them here. So today we hung out with them in the morning. Melina and Mauricio and I went to the pool this morning and that was fun. Yep. How cold was it? 100 million Tonight we are having family over since my aunt and uncle are here from Oklahoma. My brother and his wife and their kids are coming over. And then Mauricio's sister and her husband are coming over. And I think one of the ladies in the neighborhood are also coming. <laughs> Mauricio is irritated with me because he is grilling for this festivity and I am in the way. So I'm gonna try and give you like snapshots during the week of things I'm eating and like how many points they are. For dinner, we will be having wonderful ribs grilled by Mauricio. Mauricio makes the best ribs on the planet. And I, mean, I love like, ribs. Yes, we all love ribs. So I will have probably one, maybe two ribs because they're kind of hot points. So I will keep you updated throughout the week and keep your fingers crossed that it goes well. I am gonna be tracking every little bit and trying to get in four days of exercise. That's that's my plan, four days. It's gonna be a slow going process. I'm gonna be making some bruschetta. In the bruschetta, the first thing we need is basil. Then we're gonna take a mixture of super colorful tomatoes, olive oil, salt, and we're gonna start chopping up our tomatoes into chunks. and chop them all up. I like to use really colorful tomatoes because it just makes the bruschetta prettier. And then you're gonna chop the basil very finely. You're gonna add a lot of minced garlic. I added about four tablespoons to this recipe pepper and the olive oil and then you're going to add balsamic vinegar I am using strawberry balsamic vinegar today because it is so delicious I also had ribs ribs are so amazing Recio makes literally the best ribs in the world they are so juicy and delicious And then we had corn on the cob. And there are those delicious ribs again. Oh, so good. And then we had baked beans. And there's my finished bruschetta. And then there was bread. And this is exactly what I ate. And then of course, I always have coffee. I have started using almond milk instead of my regular skim milk because it's just lower in points. And I like a lot of milk in my coffee. Like I use a half a cup every time. And then for breakfast one day, I used cream cheese replacement with some deli ham. And I just put cream cheese in the middle and rolled it up. This is a great low carb breakfast, which is really what I need to be eating more of. And I had a banana for a snack. And then one day for lunch, I had six shrimp that had been grilled on the grill and a little bit of broccoli. And this is one of my favorite recipes and I'll go through each thing individually in a second. 
The first thing is a corn tortilla with grilled strip steak or flank steak. I like flank steak the best, but sometimes it's a little tough. This particular piece of flank steak was actually quite tough. So if you're going to use um, flank steak, then you need to make sure that you marinate it really, really well. I covered this with mango salsa, and I'll leave the link to the recipe for the mango salsa down in the description box. I also make cilantro rice, and I will leave the link to that recipe as well in the description box. And I generally serve that with black beans, and these black beans are so simple. I just cooked some onions and tomatoes together with some garlic and then put a couple of cans of black beans in there. Normally I'd probably put cilantro in this, but all the other recipes had cilantro and I didn't want cilantro overload for the meal. And then on Sunday, Melina, my mother and I attended a mother-daughter tea, which was fantastic by the way. And this is what we ended up taking. We made little cups with, with blueberries, raspberries, and grapes on them. The yogurt is the yogurt I always make, and I'll put a link to that in the eye in the sky if you want to try that. We added just honey, vanilla, and almond extract. Just a little almond extract to kind of cut the vanilla to it. And then we garnish them with violas. Normally I would have probably sugared the violas, but I ran out of time, so we just threw the violas on there to make it pretty. And violas are edible flowers, so... And then I ended up taking the leftovers of this for breakfast at work several times. Then you are going to see this show up in my vlog on Dallas. But lunch one day, I was sort of hungry. So I had a Go Macro protein bar and some pumpkin seeds and a Diet Coke. I don't normally drink diet soda but this was the only non-sugar thing that this market had. Then this dinner was delicious and incredibly amazing. I had this at the hotel in Dallas. It was three grilled scallops with about three tablespoons of polenta and on top was a tomato and I don't even know what kind of um, what kind of plant this was, but it was delicious. This was amazing. I would eat this again in a heartbeat. Not on the list of things I would normally eat. I ate a bagel and cream cheese because it was easy to get to. And sometimes convenience is important because I was on travel. And so that is what I opted for. As you can see from my foods, I frequently will eat smaller portions of higher, um, maybe less diet friendly foods because this is what we eat in my house. So I, I, I'm not the only adult in this house. I'm not the only person cooking. So sometimes I have to eat things that I wouldn't normally choose if it were just me. But I will tell you in my house, we focus on delicious foods. Um, we all have different cooking styles in my house. My husband loves to grill and all things on the grill. My father loves high fat Southern cooking, fried, all of that. My mother, is super flexible in what she cooks when she cooks. And me, I like, uh, honestly, my favorite foods are probably heavier on the fruits and vegetable bases. I like chicken dishes and shrimp dishes with lots of colorful vegetables. I, I love vegetable curries. I like vegetable soups. I like a lot of vegetables with my food. That's just the way I like to eat. I like Asian inspired. I like Indian. I like there's not a lot I won't eat. Make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe to my channel. And this is my latest video if you wanna check that out. And this is another one that I picked just for you. Okay, I didn't pick it. YouTube picked it. But it's just for you. So, see ya.